Okay, hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Now, today I am here with another haul. And yes, I did do a haul pretty recently. However, I then went to Primark and spent £100 in Primark. I don't even know really what on. So obviously I thought, well, I've got to film a haul because you guys will want to see what I've bought. And I really like a lot of the things, so I thought I would film a Primark spring try on haul. Spring Primark try on haul. Something around that. I'm not too sure what I've called this video yet. However, yeah, I just wanted to show you what I'd got. So as you can see from this bag, I bought a lot of stuff. So basically I'm just gonna get straight on with the video. Okay, so I'm basically just doing this like a lucky dip, to be honest, but the first thing I have just pulled out of this bag is this top. Now it's gonna be hard to show you this without trying it on. So I'm probably just gonna film the try on bit now. Okay, so this is this top. Now, as you can see, it is quite cropped. And as this is what I meant when I said it does come down very low. However, usually I would wear a bralette under this. The thing I love the most about this is the sleeves and just like the details. And I just think it's really, really nice. I imagine with a pair of like high-waisted shorts on a really nice summer day that this would be really lovely. And I just think it just, I don't know, I just like how it makes like my collarbones look and yeah, just like this. It was six pound, can't go wrong. Primark at its best. I have actually already worn this. If you watched my vlog a couple of weeks ago, I wore this when I went to Welly, which is like a club. Um, I had this on and I did get a couple of questions about where it was from. So it was from Primark and yeah, I just thought this would be great for the spring and summer months. Okay, this is in no particular order at all. So the next thing that I bought was this pair of pajama shorts that have Lilo and Stitch on them. Now I got these in an eight. I maybe should have got this in a 10 to be honest, because that feels quite uh, like oh actually no way it's drawstring so it'll undo oh we're all good there you go they are lilo and stitch pajama shorts and i just thought that they were really cute i just really like little shorts like this to sleep in in a summer and these ones have got stitch on so win-win in my opinion these are my absolute favorite because look they've got stitch on them i mean i know that i'm 18 and that you don't really wear stitch on your shorts when you're 18 but do you know what i think for bed these are so nice so good for in the summer um, and yeah, just like really, really nice, really cute. They had quite a few different Disney ones. So if you are interested, Stitch is one of my favorite Disney characters, which is why I got these ones, but they did have some others if you are a Disney fan like me. Again, not to be worn with this. Okay, so the next thing is very summery and I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself, but when I went to Primark, I'd literally just booked a holiday to Madrid. So I was like in summer mode um, and I do have a couple of summery like beach holidays this summer, just purely because obviously I finished my A-levels this year. So I have like a three and a half month long summer. So I've planned a couple of holidays with my friends, with my family, with Tom's family, stuff like that. Um, so I saw this bikini, not bikini, swimming costume. And I thought I actually really like that because although I do usually go for bikinis, I do usually feel quite like self-conscious if I'm not fully covered up because I just don't know why. Like I, I know loads of people like totally fine with it and I kind of wish that I was, but sometimes I do prefer a swimming costume, especially if you're with people that maybe aren't your family. And I thought this one looked amazing. So it's in this like khaki green kind of color and it has like a really nice detail over like the boob area. And then it kind of like is, just like, you know, a regular swimming costume. However, it does say that this has extra tummy control, which I like the sound of because I like to eat a lot of pasta. Pasta makes you blow. So I thought, yeah, this will be pretty good for all the nights I'm eating pasta and the next day I wanna go swimming. So yeah, I thought this was pretty nice. I never really wear swimming costumes. I don't own any others at all, but I was just thinking about my holidays in the summer and I thought I'm definitely gonna want a swimming costume. So yeah this is that okay so then this is the swimming costume and i actually really really like this i've kept my underwear underneath it just because i didn't know if it was going to fit and then obviously i'd have to take it back but i really like this i think this actually looks so nice and you could totally get away with wearing this as a top and putting a pair of like shorts over the top of it because the way that this falls looks like a top which is really really nice definitely will be wearing this on holiday um yeah, really like it actually. I think it's really nice. It definitely does tuck your tummy in. Worth the 12 or 13 pounds. I can't actually remember how much it was, but yeah, I really like this. I'm not gonna turn around because you'll definitely see my knickers, but yeah. I also really think that this color like complements my skin quite a lot. I think the fact that it's khaki makes my hair look a bit blonder and yeah, I just really, really like this. Okay, so now complete change of season and we are back in winter, but they had this jumper reduced and I just thought it was so, so lovely. So it's this like gray knitted kind of high neck, slightly cropped box 
fit kind of vibe uh, and we all know that I love a good knitted jumper I wear knitted jumpers like literally 24 7 um, and I saw this one and it was 13 pounds and I just thought you know what this is just gonna be good for like my whole life it's kind of high neck yeah basically I'm excited to wear this because I was thinking in the next couple of months while it's still cold I can wear this and like no jacket and I think that's just like a good combination because to be honest guys i'm sick to death of wearing coats okay so this is the jumper i already know that this is going to be the thing that i start to live in i got it in a medium and i absolutely love that because it means the sleeves are kind of too long which i absolutely love on jumpers i think it looks so nice when the sleeves kind of cover your hands a little bit the thing i'm definitely noticing about this is the material is so soft like it feels really really nice it doesn't feel itchy or scratchy which sometimes it can do with knitted jumpers so yeah for 13 pounds this does not feel like it's from primark and yeah i just really like this i love the details definitely recommend this one so the next thing that i picked up is back in the summer season okay i've just realized i've gone completely all over the place in what season i was shopping for so do excuse that it's just a bit of a mess of a haul but hopefully you're gonna like it anyway so the next thing i picked up was this pair of extremely high-waisted black denim shorts now i actually own these already in blue um and i absolutely love them i wore them all the time last year and the year before so i thought i'd buy the same pair in black one thing I would say about these is that go up a size because of the way that they fasten and where they fasten and where they sit on your legs. I just found that usually I'd buy a size 8 but I bought these in a size 10 just because they were a little bit too tight or a lot too tight. I couldn't really fasten them. So yeah, I got these in a 10. So I'm going to let you guys see what they look like on. These are the shorts. I'm just going to lift this up so that you guys can see them. Um, I really, really like these. As you can see, they go so high up. Like my belly button is like here and they're like way higher than my belly button which is what i absolutely love because if i'm gonna wear a really cropped top on like a holiday or whatever there's like not that much skin showing which i think is so so nice i think they look really nice from the back and i'm a big fan of these they are i think 10 pounds which yeah 10 pounds so from primark 10 pounds is quite a lot for a pair of shorts however i just really like how high up these go i've never found any from anywhere else that are as high waisted so would recommend and yeah okay so the next item is very very similar to the stitch shorts but these are just plain black with the stripe down the side the reason i bought two pairs of shorts very similar is because this is more like for the gym because i was thinking in a summer the gym i go to there's like nobody there ever so i could probably get away with wearing shorts um or if i'm doing a workout at home i thought these looked quite nice um they're just pretty simple pretty standard and these were like two pounds or two pound fifty which i thought was like pretty good because they're just plain black so yeah another pair of shorts so these are even smaller these are like literally just like covering your bum kind of shorts but i do still really like these actually i think that they're really good value for money not too sure why these are so uneven oh they're not there we go yeah i don't know these are just good for like workouts would wear these on holiday good for a cover up over a bikini obviously not to wear with this jumper guys i'm very aware of that but i'm just showing you what they look like on and yeah i quite like these okay the next Thing was a homeware piece now I really like this and I'm so excited because it's actually not for me this needs a little bit of explaining okay basically when Tom comes around to my house we always like if we're watching something on the telly downstairs Tom's like obsessed with watching stuff under a blanket like wrapping himself in a blanket which sounds really lame but he always steals the one that we usually put on like the poof in our living room if that even makes any sense so we thought we'll buy him his own because a couple of weeks ago for you guys it was his birthday I'm pre-filming a little bit so this is a little bit outdated so we chose to buy him this because I thought it would look so cute and it would just be really nice to like watch movies under and it was six pounds which I thought was so good because it's like quite a big throw and yeah I haven't unwrapped it obviously because it's for Tom but I think when I do I know that I'll be like snuggly and this will just be really nice to be cozy under okay and then the last thing I bought was one of those things that they put next to the till and Primark do it to tempt you I know they do but I give into it every time it's as if my brain is just like unaware of the fact that all of those little knick-knacky bits are there to like 
add to the price of what you've already bought and if you consider the fact that I'd already spent like £75 on all of the stuff that I've just shown you apart from the boots because they were for my mum. Didn't really need to add these did I for an extra 90p? Not really but I bought them anyway. <laughs> these are the Oval Cosmetic Makeup Remover Pads and the reason I picked these is because they are massive like they're really big and I usually use the quite small ones so yeah not much else to say about those. So yeah that is actually everything. I know it doesn't look like a lot also included in this like haul were the items that I bought last like in last week's video that my mum bought me the outfit she picked so 25 pounds worth of it was that outfit so then this is the other 75 and I'm not too sure how it came to 75 I think it was the jumper and the swimming costume the swimming costume was 13 pounds so like that was quite a lot for a swimming costume but I thought if it does suck my tummy in and it works then I will pay that because I need that so yeah, that is basically all of the stuff I got. I will say mainly for spring, with the exception of the jumper, which is for winter. Let me know down in the comments which item of clothing was your favourite and if you have found any gems in Primark recently that you think I might like. But yeah, other than that, I'm going to go. Make sure you smash the video with a huge thumbs up and do subscribe if you're new around here. That would mean the world to me. And make sure that the bell notification why am I doing this? That is not a bell. Um, is turned on just so that you're notified whenever I upload a video. Yeah, other than that, I'm going to go. I hope you have enjoyed and I will see you on Thursday with a drive with me. Bye!